Hi, I'm Timothy Armstrong, and I'm a Developer Programs Engineer on the Dart team here at Google. And today, I'm going to talk to you about how easy it is to write Dart code in Sublime Text 2. So let's jump right in. Um, right here, I have just the, uh, the web page for our Sublime plugin. This is hosted on GitHub, so you can check it out. Um, so if you go to github.com slash dart dash lang, you should be able to find it. The repository is called the Dart Sublime Bundle. So going over to Sublime Text 2, as you can see, I have a simple Dart file here. And it's, uh, it's not highlighted or anything. You can tell that Sublime Text 2 doesn't really know what to do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and install the plugin. And if you're using uh, the really good package control plugin, it's really easy to do. So I'm going to press uh, Command-Shift-P or Control-Shift-P if you're on Windows or Linux. And you just need to type uh, Install Package and choose that option. And it's going to take a second to load. And then you just need to type Dart. Press Enter when the Dart option comes up. And it will install the package. Now, once you do that, you need to reload any Dart files that you have open. So I'll close this one and reopen it. And as you can see, I now have really nice syntax highlighting. And it's, you know, it looks like a, a real editor made for Dart. Um, now, right after you install the plugin, you should also set up the settings correctly. So if you open up your settings file, which I have right here, you'll want to add this line to it. It's uh, Dart SDK underscore path. And you want to set this to point to wherever you have the Dart SDK installed on your machine. And this will let you do some of the cool things that I'm going to show you in a minute. All right, so let's uh, go back to this. And I'm actually going to create a new file. So I'll press Command N. And you can choose uh, the syntax highlighting from the side here. So I'll choose Dart. And we've added a number of snippets to this plugin so that it's really easy to write common things that you would do when you're writing some Dart code. So for example, I can type lib and then press tab. And it will let me you know, create a library. Or I can do something like I can type imp for imports, type tab. And then I can type my import, for example. Uh, another one that you can do is you can type class, tab again. And you can you know, create your class. And if you're inside of a class, you can type method, press tab. And it really easily lets you create a you know, method. I'll fill this one in a little bit. And let's say, hello world. Awesome. And finally, we have another one for creating a main function really easily. You just type main and press tab. And it jumps open. And again, very easy. And if you want to find all of the snippets, all you have to do is, again, open up the command palette with Command-Shift-P. And then you can just type snippet. And you can see a list of all the snippets that we have installed in the plugin. And we're planning on adding some more later on. Now let's jump back to my original file. This is my sample.dart. And let's say I want to run this file in the browser. Well, usually to run something in uh, one of the browsers, you need to run Dart to JS. And this is a command line tool. Um, but we've made it really easy to work with inside of Sublime Text 2. We've built it into the, the build system. So if you go to Tools, and you go to uh, Build, or I can just press Command B and choose that, it will run Dart to JS. And if you can kind of see here in the sidebar, I know it's a little bit small, it's added all of the compiled Dart files. So again, you just need to press Command-B. You don't need to open up the command line to do this. Very simple. And now you can run it easily inside of the browser. Another great thing that we've added is uh, support for your pub spec. So I have in this file here a, a sample pub spec, which I will copy. And we'll make a new file, paste this in. And then I'll go ahead and call this pubspec.yaml, press Save. And as you'll see, as soon as I save this, this uh, pub spec, it's actually gone ahead and run pub on this pub spec and added this package directory and it added the dependencies. And any time I change my pub spec, it actually goes ahead and runs it again. So if I, for example, add a dependency on the HTTP package and I press Save, you'll see that it will go ahead and download all the dependencies that it needs inside of uh, the editor. So you really don't need to you know, open up the, uh, the command line at all to use either Dart.js or PubSpec. So all of this is open source. Again, it's uh, on GitHub, and we accept contributions. So we'd really like you to try it out. Let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, happy darting in Sublime Text 2.